It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. Maxwell Wasika is not here with us today, but uh, the touchline is still going on. And we are joined by Takid Master, and his official name is Jafet Ahuma. He is uh, the World Kickboxing Federation of Kenya president and is actually expected to launch the Kenya Extreme Compact Sports uh, Federation in Nakuru in just a few days. Takid, yeah. welcome to the touchline. It's That's been a minute, man. Yeah, it's been long. <laughs> How are you doing? I've been fine, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at you, but you have been preaching the gospel of uh, kickboxing in yeah. the country. How has it been so far since uh, the launch of the Federation in the country? Everything has been uh, going well so far because I can remember now we're uh, in uh, this seven months. Yeah. yeah since it was launched and since I was appointed as the World Kickboxing Federation Kenya president. And so far we've held uh, four events which have been uh, successful for sure. Yes. And uh, the one that we are going to have in uh, Nakuru, that will be the fifth event mm -hmm. for this year. And remember, we've been having only f seven months in the office, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, in every month I've been doing a, a lot to yeah. make sure that events are being held in different uh, parts of uh, this country. Yeah. Yeah. One may ask, what is your motivation? What pushes you? Because uh, it's now past passion that you're putting this sport. It's now in the map and people are looking at it and saying, we need to join in this conversation. Uh, whatever has been pushing me, remember I told you that I studied martial arts uh, while I was at the age of 12 years yes and this has been my livelihood for sure i've been doing nothing else for the past 30 years except doing uh, martial arts different kinds of styles and that's why i became the world kickboxing federation kenya president and in fact uh the world uh, kickboxing federation that's uh, an international entity it's our yes. international body the affiliate body yes but now back here in kenya we call ourselves Kenya Extreme Combat Sports Federation, uh -huh. which I have to launch. Yes. I have to launch even with uh, its uh, official logo, and that will happen in uh, Nakuru mm -hmm. on the 23rd of this month, that's uh, next week Saturday. Yes. So, so far, what I've been doing uh, around uh, and uh, traversing every uh, county, the same way I told you the first time I came here yeah. concerning the World Kibos Federation Kenya uh, initiative, it was that I promise to go to every county because remember what I've been saying, not only in uh, martial arts, but it's yeah. even in football and mm -hmm. every kind of sports that we do in this country. People do engage themselves a lot in the capital city, yes. which doesn't count well because uh -huh. we have different t uh, kinds of talents yeah. that we can nurture and at least uh, bring back glory to the country. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I see people doing in a different way is uh, things like athletics, because mm -hmm. you can find people like uh, our legend uh, Kipchoge, you know, you can, yes. uh, or uh, Eliud Kipchoge, you can yeah. get them in Iten and different mm -hmm. places. But uh, when it comes to kickboxing, for sure, and mm -hmm. let me say, nowadays I don't want to call it kickboxing, I call it mixed martial arts, because yes. it's all arts in. We have Muay Thai, we have kickboxing, we have Sanda, we have K1, different kinds of styles. Mm -hmm. So in uh, our federation. Yes. So it's high time that uh, we as leaders of different federations mm -hmm. should go at least to different uh, counties yes. and bring it back to the national level. Uh, I, I want to ask, uh, it is World Kickboxing Federation of Kenya, yeah. and now you are going to launch the Extreme Compact Sports Federation. W what is the difference, or what does it entail to have the Extreme Compact Sports Federation here in the country? Uh, there's no difference. Uh, yeah. The difference is just the, uh, let me say the naming, because uh -huh, yes. World Kickboxing Federation Kenya mm -hmm. is still uh, uh, one with the Kenya Extreme uh, Combat Sports Federation. Yes. Because remember, in uh, World Kickboxing Federation Kenya, we have uh, different styles. That's why I call it mixed martial arts. Because uh -huh. we have uh, wushu, we have uh, uh, boxing, we have kickboxing, we have uh, Muay Thai, we have Sanda, we have K1. Yes. Then we have the Extreme Combat Sports itself. Extreme mm -hmm. Combat Sports is just that uh, championship that whenever you guys stage it there, mm -hmm. we could be having Taekwondo is fighting there, we could be having Karatekas fighting here, we could be having kickboxing fighting there, then in different styles yes. of their own. So now the reason why I also decided to bring it as Kenya Extreme Combat Sports Federation while I went to register, mm -hmm. I was told, and it's something that you can also understand as a sports uh, journalist, that uh, remember, 
you can't register anything in any country with the, the, na the, the naming of world because mm -hmm. world does international yes. so that's our international entity mm -hmm. so we had to start with the word kenya so mm -hmm. we chose to use the word kenya extreme combat sports federation yeah. and the extreme means that the sports that we do doesn't only involve one style uh -huh. it involves all those styles and it's an extreme sports way of fighting yes yeah well, that's a big one. And it will be happening in Nakuru on next weekend. That's next September weekend, that's Saturday. 23rd. So what are the preparations uh, for next weekend? Uh, the preparations are really uh, moving on well. And I'm so happy and, uh, in fact, thanks to the Nakuru County Government Office, they've been supporting the Nakuru uh, uh, WKF or the Nakuru Kenya Extreme Combat Sports uh, Federation uh, Office there. Because uh, the, the last we had a tournament, it was uh, last month here in Pumwani, uh, Nairobi. Then the Na Nakuru County clinched the uh, presidential cup. It was yes. the first uh, uh, WKF Kenya yes. President's Cup, and they took number one. Mm -hmm. So they were supported with the county, which gave them uh, the way of transport and everything else. Mm -hmm. And right now, again, because this is a seminar, you know, it's a seminar, but now the launching is yes. in this seminar. Because I decided that last time we had a seminar in Nairobi mm -hmm. and that Nakuru guys had to come, Moma Bay people, Mombasa. So we also have to take it back uh, to Nakuru because mm -hmm. I decided that every county at least will be hosting an event. Mm -hmm. So the preparation is uh, moving on well because we'll be having it at uh, the Menengai Social Hall, mm -hmm. which we've been given by the county government of Nakuru. And uh, they've also given us different uh, uh, support mm -hmm. that we need, like... Um, uh, to facilitate the teams that will be there in yeah. that year. Second seminar that you'll be having actually <coughs> in office uh, that is going on to Nakuru, you had the first seminar also. What, what were some of the lessons uh, that you learned in the first seminar that you'll be taking on to the second uh, seminar? Okay, what I've learned so far is that uh, most of our players, for sure, they don't know the rules. Because remember, in kickboxing or in these mixed martial arts, we bring in different people from different kinds of arts. Because remember, even me, myself, I started with karate, I went to taekwondo, then I came to kickboxing. So it's a mixture of punching 50% yes. and kicking 50%. So what happens here is that uh, uh, I've come to realize that even our referees, the officiating is in a different way for sure. We still law and yeah. we have to uh, go a notch higher so that we can reach these international levels. Because you see, if our players can be participating here, you have one referee who is a boxer, another referee is a taekwondoist or a karateka. Yeah is only good in managing the kicks counts. Yes. Uh, the, the boxer is only good in managing what? The, the punches counts, which won't help a lot. So we need to come up with something and train them so that they could know what the rules are. Then another thing with our fighters, somebody might be a Muay Thai fighter, somebody might be a taekwondoist, somebody might be a boxer or different kinds of styles. Then when they come there, we have to let them know that even if we call it mixed martial arts, it's not all about grappling or anything. We need to use uh, the techniques that are required there. If it's cool, full contact, if it's mm -hmm. light contact, semi-contact, mm -hmm. we need to go as per the rules yeah. and the regulations mm -hmm. in the tournament. So if we do that, at least we'll be enlightening our fighters and they'll be knowing what should be used and uh, at what time in there. So, because uh, very soon, our focus now, me, my focus as a president, is now going international. Yes. And we should be starting with um, places like Tanzania, Uganda, we have Rwanda uh -huh. around, yes. we have Ethiopia. Then now we move on moving more internationally. Mm -hmm. So for us to do that, we must reach that international mm -hmm. level and standard of officiating. Yeah. And also for our players to know the different kinds of styles that they are doing and mm -hmm. the rules that should be used in the ring. Well, that's a, a big one uh, that will be coming on in Akuru on uh, September the 23rd. That is next weekend. And some of the advantages that you have gained from these seminars that you have been holding all around the country. Oh, yeah. The seminars are just two, but I'll mm. call them events because yeah. we've had uh, a successful seminar that was in Kayole mm. and it went on successfully. The teams were many there. Then again, we held another tournament. That was the first tournament. It was in Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. It was successful. 
the third one was uh, joint training for Nairobi County uh, clubs, yes. which we did in Kangemi was successful. Mm -hmm. Then the fourth one was this President's Cup that was the last month in uh, Pumwani that was here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Now the fifth, which is the second seminar, will be on the 23rd this, uh, next Saturday mm -hmm. in uh, Nakuru. And uh, what I've gained a lot is that uh, the clubs have really uh, added uh, so far, because yes. I have like 17 clubs so far, mm -hmm. and I have uh, 200 players. 45 of them are ladies now, and you see in different kinds of martial arts, if you go and watch uh, all these martial arts, you can find out that there are no more ladies in, uh, involved in these uh, kinds of martial arts sports, yes. or let me say combat sports. But so far in kickboxing now, or let me say mixed martial arts, ladies have really joined it. The kids have joined as uh, young as uh, five years and above. And we've had different clubs uh, joining us. Uh, if, like in Nakuru, we have Kivumbini, we have Menengai, uh, no, not Menengai, we have Kivumbini, we have Flamingo, we have Red Hawk. In Mombasa, we have Diani also. In yes. Nairobi, we have a lot of clubs, you see. Yes. So, meaning that uh, there's been a plus in this. Then we've been having people also coming on board to support us. Like uh, now, we have uh, people from Bavaria, they, even if they are not sponsoring that big that people might think, but there's a way they are sponsoring us and they are yeah. supporting us, yeah? Mm -hmm. You see, so if we, l we look at all these uh, in, the, in a span of uh, seven months, we've gained a lot and uh, there's been a lot of positivity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your, your, uh, your, your aim is uh, taking the, uh, this, this sport to the grassroots level and, you know, Nakuru has been a mainstay when it comes to boxing in the country. You look, yeah. talk about Nakuru, you, you'll be talking about boxing. Kangemi Social Hall is a big place, Pumwani. And all those that you've been talking about, how are the people, are people receptive to it? Are the youths actually embracing the sport itself? Yeah, the youth have really embraced the sports for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And you know, they had embraced it even before some years back. The yes. only problem that was there, not only in martial arts, it's in every kind of sports, the leadership. That's yeah. what I can say. Mm -hmm. And remember what I told you the first day I came here is that me as a president, I've been a fighter. Yes. By the age of 17, I was in the national team for Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. I've played for karate. I've done everything concerning martial arts. So I know the pain that all these players can go through or, or they've been going through, you see? Yes. So me, their well-being is everything to me. Because I always say that if there were no uh, footballers, there would be no FKF or FIFA uh -huh. in the world. Yes. If there are no fighters, we wouldn't be having boxing, Taekwondo, kickboxing, anything else. So we need to take care of these uh, uh, fighters first before we take care of us as uh, the leaders. Because uh, if uh, there's corruption in any institution or any federation, mm -hmm. there's no growth. And these fighters will start using drugs. They'll be like, uh, uh -huh. you see? Yes. Yeah, so th th they won't be having any hope or positive uh, uh, thought ag against uh, any kind of sports. Yeah. So if we could manage the way I'm trying to do it, or uh, not even trying, mm -hmm. I've done it for sure yes. for that span. Mm -hmm. So uh, number one, Nakuru, for sure is a hub of fighters. Yes. Even right now in kickboxing, mm -hmm. Nakuru has like almost almost 100 fighters, you yes. see? Yeah. And they are good for sure. Mm -hmm. So to me, I'm uh, trying to plan and talk to different people from Mombasa and even Homa Bay, because mm -hmm. we have uh, clubs in those places also. They should also at least try, copy what Nakuru has been doing, mm -hmm. and uh, make them reach such a level. Because remember, on the 20th of October, we'll be having national selection, national team selection, uh -huh. and yes. it will be here in Nairobi, which I'll uh, come by and say where exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would like it to be done once we have uh, most players in different counties, so that it be a national Event. team for sure. Yes. Not only that, national team is from Nakuru, mm -hmm and Nairobi, mm -hmm. and maybe Mombasa, that want to work well. Yeah. So I need a, a clean national team that yeah. can really effectively represent our country as the ambassadors. Man, you, you have actually been basing it in Nakuru, Nairobi. Are we going to see Mombasa, Nyanyuki also, because yeah. Nyanyuki has got a very good club also in that side. Are we going to see also taking it onto that side of the country? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it soon. Because yeah. uh, like in November, I'll take it to Mombasa. We'll have a tournament in Mombasa which I'm yet to announce also. Yeah. And uh, we are visiting Homa Bay also. Mm -hmm. So this year we must have uh, visited uh, all those, let me say like four or five counties. Yes. And trust me, it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it comes to sports, everything that uh, we have to talk about, we'll be celebrating uh, 100 days in office, actually a year in office uh, for the sports ministry, Honorable Ababu Namuamba. He'll be on Channel 1 on Monday 
to talk about uh, the achievements of uh, sports here in the country. But the key question is usually, as a federation, are you aligned to the Sports Act 2013? Yeah, I've been pushing <laughs> hard. <laughs> Remember this, yeah. even if you go for registration, yeah. it doesn't just come out once. You know, it takes 120 days yes. for you to be given the certificate. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I do say that it's not only about certificates, it's all about what you do yes. and what the sponsors or even the government itself can see mm -hmm. you guys pushing on, then they could uh, recognize you guys. Then another thing that I always tell you, remember, we have that... Uh, a uh, threshold that says that we should be at least in different, like uh, le not less than 24 counties. Yes. You see? Yeah. Then uh, at least the government uh, ministry, as the ministry would uh, recognize us and support us through sponsoring us to different kinds of uh, sports, yes. which I think is not a big thing for sure, because mm -hmm. if you look at different kinds of sports, even if it's all these martial arts, they haven't covered that. Yeah. But what happens is that they've been engaging themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, example, Tongil Modo is there, yeah. we have Judo, and we have different kinds of uh, arts also, Taekwondo, let me say. Yes. Not only, it's, it's not that they are in every county, but what they are trying to do, they participate in different uh, championships internationally. Mm -hmm. So if they go for those assignments, yes. at least they bring back the glory to the country, and the government recognizes and supports them. And that's what I'm now pushing hard to do. For now, I can't blame the government that, oh, you see, they are not supporting us, for sure. We are just seven months old. Yeah. But we are working at, for whoever who has come around uh, World Kickboxing Federation, Kenya Explain uh, Combat Sports Federation, yes. thinks that it has been there for like many years. Yeah. Okay, my face has been there because mm -hmm. I've been there in the other office. Yeah. So I'm still running the same thing, mm -hmm. but in a different office and different position. The, the main aim is usually as a federation to be affiliated to the National Olympic yeah. Committee. Uh -huh. Are you working on that? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Remember, yes. uh, Olympics is something uh, friendly yes. and uh, peaceful. Mm -hmm. With kickboxing, they do say that it's a rough or let me say a tough uh, um, sport. Yes. Yeah, it's a sport, but uh, in a way, it's a bit... The people do think it's brutal, but not. Yes. So remember, even recently, they were talking about removing the boxing part of... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, to, not yes. to participate in Olympics. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that will happen. Mm -hmm. I'm praying that they just let boxing stay there. Yeah. But for kickboxing, we can't be in Olympics yet. Because yeah. there are a lot of rules that will uh -huh. be. Yes. So if you look at Taekwondo, mm -hmm. if you've been watching Taekwondo some years back while uh, we guys were fighting, mm -hmm. we used to knock people down, we used to fight hard. But yeah. now if you look at Taekwondo, it's like demo. The mm -hmm. reason why they did that is uh, it's because of the rules that are needed to govern the Olympics. So for yes. us, we can't be in knock. Yeah. No. Well, it's a tough one considering that the Olympics is coming your way uh, at uh, the 2024. It's actually one year around the corner and Kenya will be there. But uh, it was sad news uh, yesterday as Elizabeth and Diego did not manage to defeat El Haji Marek of Morocco to get a chance in the heavyweight category to represent Kenya, and that chance has gone to El Marek of Morocco. Tough for us, but we have to fight uh, another day. But let me tell you for sure, uh, I respect Elizabeth and Diego. Yes. We are good friends and close friends, and we work together in different uh, parts. Yeah. And uh, she's been training people well there in uh, Kayole. She's uh -huh. been with us as the federation also, yes. pushing to at least give back to the society. Mm -hmm. Remember, she had an accident some years back, uh -huh. bad accident, and people yes. thought that she wouldn't make it back. Remember from that fracture of the leg, she came back and she took the silver position. Yes, yeah. And they, it's like uh, being rivals, the two of them. <laughs> and yeah, I, yeah, yeah actually, yes. They've yeah. been rivals. They are the best of the best, yeah. actually, in Africa. But now. to me, I still say that Andiego is the best. Yeah. I still say that. Yeah. Remember, she was the first lady, Kenyan lady boxer, to represent us in Olympics <laughs> last time. Yeah. So she's a good ambassador in boxing <laughs> and uh, such an humble lady, for sure. Your final word. Uh, final word is just this. Boxing. People are in Nakuru or whoever who could uh, join us uh, through to Nakuru on the 23rd. That will be next week on Saturday. You are free to come join us. Come learn more about uh, mixed martial arts. We'll be there in Menengai Social Hall. So guys, come support us. And for any well-wishers who are seeing us working well with these, come support us and let's make a good national team. These are our future Adesanyas, Conor McGregor's, and Nganu. So let's support each other. Let's come up 
and do it as one. Yes, we can, guys. Yeah. Well, that has been Takid Master, the World Kickboxing Federation of Kenya president, talking to us here on the touchline, considering that they'll be launching the Kenya Extreme Compact Sports Federation in Nakuru later this month, actually next weekend on the 23rd. I'm Robert Osoro. Let's enjoy some uh, Rugby World Cup, considering that it is going on in France. Can the Springboks retain the Rugby World Cup? They'll be playing Romania later today. But also, we got the international break that happened this weekend. Kenya lost to South Sudan, won in Qatar, won two goals to one lost to South Sudan. What does what does that say about Kenya? Also, we have got the running in of who is going to be coming the next Football Kenya Federation president. We've got the former Sekafa Secretary General Nicholas Musonye is also put his hands on the race. He'll be racing there against the former uh, Football Kenya Federation President Sam Nyamoya in that category, but also we've got uh, Extreme Sports uh, CEO and founder Hussein Mohammed also in that category. We'll be talking much more when it comes to football with Mike Simeo and Erika Ganya when we come back for the fan zone.